Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google Chrome version 126 is now available, and Google rolled out 126 late yesterday in my region on the 11th of June. Now, as always, to double check, we have the update. We head to our main menu, help about Google Chrome, and the latest version and build after the update has been applied is 126.0.6478.5452. Fifty six or fifty seven. Any of those three point releases on version one hundred and twenty six means you're up to date on Linux, Windows, and Mac. Now, first of all, just focusing on the security fixes that have rolled out, and um, because last week we didn't receive any security fixes, so this week we get quite a lot of security issues that have been patched. Twenty one security fixes have rolled out, nine of which are high severity, and then we get a couple of mediums. Uh, we don't get any zero days that have been exploited in the wild for this week at this stage, which is always good news. And the majority of the high severity flaws are type confusion in V8, which is the V8 JavaScript engine, which is a common exploit. We also get use after free in Dawn, inappropriate implementation in Dawn, heap buffer overflow in tab groups, and inappropriate impl implementation in DevTools. So that's the majority of the high severity and what those are comprised of, those are severity security flaws, which have all been patched, and we get 21 security fixes in total that have rolled out. Now, when it comes to new features, version 126 is what I would consider to be a light release. We haven't got too many front-facing features, and most of the changes are for developers taking place under the hood, so to speak, but there are one or two just to mention uh, for the purpose of this video, which I thought you may be interested in. Now there's a new function to vibrate the controller from games running in the browser, which is the Gamepad API Trigger Rumble extension, which is an extension which will allow web apps to take advantage of the Gamepad API to also vibrate the triggers of Gamepad devices that come equipped with this functionality, according to Google. And basically, this means that Xbox-compatible gamepads like the Microsoft Xbox Wireless Controller and Razer Wolverine Ultimate come equipped with impulse triggers which provide haptic feedback localized to the trigger. So if you have um, a game a, a game pad which um, has the necessary um, hardware, then you should now get that trigger rumble when playing games in the browser. Now the next one, just to mention this, uh, is it also adds animations when moving between pages on the same site. Now there's quite a lot of things have to line up for this to happen. And um, apparently the animations use the View Transition API, which are now possible when moving between pages. And just to cut to the chase, I'm going to head to this little video clip, which will give us a good idea. Because there's quite a lot of things that have to actually line up for this to work. So just take note, though, that there needs to be a combination of the scheme, the host name, and port number, and animation then can only be performed when moving to a page where all of these match. So your scheme, hostname, and port have all got a lineup to basically get animations working on the same page. So I think uh, the minority will see this more than the majority. But nonetheless, that is a new feature that has been listed uh, in the release notes for Chrome version 126. And guys, that's more or less what is new. Um, as mentioned, a lot of developer stuff taking place under the hood. I was expecting some changes for customized Chrome and some new features to roll out, but nothing as yet. And then I've also seen a comment already on the channel where the command line flag, I posted a video on that removes the Chrome UI refresh once again. Um, Google could have patched the ability to use a flag now to remove the Chrome UI refresh. But if you have noticed that and have disabled UI refresh with that command line flag, which I posted on a while back, and I'll leave that video here in the end screen, uh, then just let me know because obviously then we've got to try and work on a new resolution to try and um, disable the Chrome UI refresh if you would be interested. But nonetheless, that's what's more or less what's new. In Google Chrome version 126, which started rolling out on the 11th of June, 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.